The shaky head is a great presentation, but this is a retrieve used with the shaky head that is often overlooked. We know that we can leave a shaky head sit right there, works well. We know that we can literally shake it and let it kind of bounce it in place. That's a great presentation and we can even hop it. But this particular presentation is my favorite. I have the most confidence in it. And most importantly, I don't see a lot of other anglers using it, which means it is a good choice for high pressured lakes and rivers. And that is dragging a shaky head, literally just throwing it out there, putting the rod tip down and go ahead and just drag it with the real handle. We don't raise the rod tip up. We don't pop it unless we're trying to come up and over, you know, a piece of wood or something that we might be hung up on a little bit. Just leave the shaky head, do its job scooting along the bottom. Another way to think about it, it it's kind of the best of both worlds when you consider a jig, dragging a jig, but yet we still have that attractive power, that, that tail that is hanging up there in the water column that can draw fish from a distance, especially if you have a little bit of bottom cover. You know, some short vegetation, muck debris, that type of stuff, especially if you're using an Elaztec worm like this Super Finesse worm, it'll just sit here and stand up in the water column all day long. And when we watch what it looks like underwater where we're just dragging or crawling this shaky head on a steady retrieve, you can see how it looks very different than the other types of retrieves we might use with the shaky head. But there's a couple real key factors why I have so much confidence in this. First, you can feel everything. That lure telegraphs all the information that you need as an angler right back to you. When you're maintaining that excellent bottom contact, when you're just dragging it along, it is so easy to decipher bottom composition when you bang into a rock or when you're starting to crawl up and over a stick, whatever it might be. And then when you get that bite, you know specifically what was the bottom composition those bass were using or hanging on. Next, this is one of my favorite presentations to use on these super tough bluebird days, okay? When you've got water out there that is clear, you got bluebird skies, and you just know it's gonna be a challenge to go out there and fish. Well, that is often when a more aggressive shaky head presentation can kind of turn off the bass as they come up and take a look at it. If we give it too much of a hop or a sudden hop, we'll often startle them and they'll kind of shy away. That presentation works great when they're a little bit more aggressive, but when they are really, really in a mood where they just don't want to eat, the more subtle, the better, and dragging the shaky head is a very subtle presentation. And this next reason why dragging a shaky head is something I love so much is because you can cover more water with it. No, it's not like ripping a jerk bait. You're not just gonna fly right down the shoreline, but it is surprising how much territory you can cover. So you can really investigate probe an area, dial in a specific spot. Once you've got a part of a lake or a river kind of narrowed down, I think this is the area I'm gonna work on, you can really dissect it quickly and it works well in shallow water or deep water. A shaky head naturally drops through the water column quickly because of the very slim profile. Even with like a quarter ounce jig head, what I've got here on this particular one, it drops very, very fast. So you don't have to put a rod down, pick up another one with, you know, multiple weights. It, it's gonna work for you in the shallows. It's going to work for you in deeper water. I fish anywhere from two to three feet to 20 feet with this one setup very efficiently efficiently. And the last reason is one I mentioned already. This is just not a retrieve style that many anglers use with a shaky head. So if you're out there and there's just anglers all over the place, this is something that's going to be different that the bass probably have not seen a lot of. Once again, think about it as that combination between all the benefits of dragging a jig and the benefits of that tail on a shaky head standing up, attracting bass from a distance. 
And hey, if you want to watch an interesting video about what bass do after a heavy rain, go ahead and check this one out. The results surprised me. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For The Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.